Hi, this is Carlton Cullens, and welcome to the Blue Sky Strong Box. and this week is going to be a little bit of a hodgepodge so I'm going to throw a bunch of random stuff at you so if you need to write it down first matter at hand is uh, I've been talking to a lot of my clients about nutrition in my experience and what pretty much all the statistics say that if most people fail with their nutrition because they don't have a plan most people that aren't prepared they don't know what they're going to eat that day typically are going to make bad choices and they're going to fail so my tip for this week is to work on that have a plan know what you're going to eat for breakfast know what you're going to eat for lunch know what you're going to eat for dinner it would be great if you could plan the whole week out i understand that might not be realistic we're busy. I'm busy. I don't even have kids, but I still work a 13, 14 hour a day sometimes and I don't have time to always make my food and everything, but I do have a plan. What I do is on Sundays, I try to, I go to the grocery store typically, I try to prepare all my food. That way I can heat it up really quick during the week, uh, but I also work at home so I have that luxury. If you're working in an office, you need to bring food. Make good choices. If you're going out to eat, you need to know where you're going, what you're going to have a plan for. Don't leave it up to chance because chances are you're going to fail. I know a lot of you have kids. You've got to stop using excuses. Your kids need to be eating good too. I don't care how much they cry. Put some earplugs in. But a child that ends up with childhood diabetes by the time he's 10 years old is unacceptable. It's bad parenting and you should go to jail. So if you're feeding your kids crap, it's your fault. It's your fault they're going to die early and get fat. It's your fault that health care costs are going to go up because of that children. So don't give me the excuse that your children eat bad so you got to eat bad. I know we're all in a hurry, but you need to have a plan. And that is very serious. And that's, I mean, that's all I'm going to talk about this week, but think about that. I love y'all all. We need to take care of ourselves and our children, so have a plan. Everybody needs to be eating healthy. Small steps. It's an evolution. Don't try to do it all at once. All right, we're doing baby dips, baby squats here. <laughs> Bend those legs. The right, second thing I want to talk about this week is... is you know, being aware of what your body is doing at all times when you're working out. Whether you're working at a gym by yourself or with a trainer or with a friend or whatever, you need to you need to be watching what you're doing. Use a mirror. Don't be afraid to do that. But to do that, you've got to be able to see your body. And if you're wearing clothes that are too baggy and too big, you're not going to see what your body is doing and you need to be aware of that. So be leery of wearing clothes that are too big and too baggy, particularly around your back area. I know a lot of people are trying to cover up areas that maybe they're not so happy with right now, but at the same time, you need to be aware of what your body's doing. It's absolutely essential not hurting yourself and making proper progress. So, you know, be leery of what your back is doing. Baggy pants that cover up what your knees are doing, you know, they can cause problems. You need to be able to see what your knees are doing, see what your pelvis is doing, what your lower back is doing. You need to be able to see what your feet are doing. I, I recommend most people work out barefooted if they can. I understand that if you work out a commercial gym, you can't do that. But you, they do have these funny looking toe shoes you can wear. You might even be able to get away with some water shoes. Just, you know, when you wear like Nike shocks and stuff like that, they're so padded, your feet aren't doing much work and they're allowing you to compensate and you don't even know it. So I recommend wearing shoes that don't have much sole support unless you have unless you have feet problems or back problems or something. Otherwise, try to maybe tone it down a little bit and get some get some old uh, Converse chucks or something. Something's a little bit simpler so you can see what your feet are doing. It's really important. So my last point for this week is to exercise and do some things that are fun. Exercise shouldn't and doesn't have to be miserable all the time. Add some fun things. Do some things you haven't done in a while. When was the last time you rode a bike? This week I went and rode my little BMX around and I got a good workout. You know, when was the last time if you've got kids you went and threw a frisbee, you've got a dog, you go throw a frisbee with your dog. 
uh, put the sprinkler out for small kids and let them jump through it and you go jump through it too. Maybe get a slip and slide, go swimming, you know, go play some baseballs and catch, kickball, jumping on a trampoline if, if your knees can take it. You know, just lots of different things. You know, make it make it fun. I, I boxed this week, you know. It was a great workout. I got some aggression out, but it was fun. It was different. Jump rope maybe. You know, it's like try to change things up. It's, it's so much better. You know, it, change your environment up. Just try to be creative. Maybe go rent a canoe. You know, go, go do something. Uh, you know, don't do anything too dangerous, but change it up and have fun. It should be fun. Life should be fun. Do all these things, and I, I guarantee you life will be better. But be careful and uh, work on this stuff, and I'll see you all next week. Peace. And I'll tell you out there in the Internet land, one cool thing about Carlton as far as a personal trainer goes, is he's a cool guy, he's a professional dude, and he's a nice person. If you enjoy funk music, there's ample and ample supply to be heard inside this place. There's much funk here. And there's cotton on the walls. It's little tufts of cotton. Which you don't, you don't get that at a gym.